you need one? Absolutely. Look here, you'll see. Well, just welcome numbers. to the show. You've got to check in with her because she's going to give you ballots to vote for best of the show. Okay. And here are the wood turnings. And here are the printings. We're very excited to be here. Looking forward to seeing your face. I'm so happy you're here. Nobody had to say hello. I saw me to dinner after. Oh, that's fine. And we've got videos. I just saw you. From Watergate Gallery and Frame Design. <laughs> Thank Here you. you are. I had the opportunity to travel to a number of different places with my husband, and um, I'm always on the hunt for some wonderful venue where the sunlight is just right, or the dusk is coming along, and the colors are beginning to enrich it. Um, so back with my photographs and a few sketches, I start painting, and behind me is is um, various places in France, Paris, southern France, Cotignac, and behind Barry is another Parisian painting. Um, and on the back wall, a number of paintings from California, Lisbon, so Oaxaca. Italy, Oaxaca. The Oaxaca paintings are um, uh, not a place I've been, although I've been other places in Mexico. But um, an artist friend of mine was kind enough to um, allow me to paint paintings from her photographs. So, um, uh, so, and I've given her credit on those, uh, Marguerite Cole. So, um, uh, I think you'll see a number of places around the world. Maybe some of them you recognize. People like That's so many different things, which I think is is a tribute to the fact that we are all different. <laughs> John here is going to announce our winners, and then our artists are going to tell us something about those particular winners. And there might even be a few ties or very close things yeah. here too. So, so. so I need to confer with one of the artists for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know about this part. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ask her if she'll accept the results of the election. <laughs> <laughs> you might be thinking that this election is rigged. And I assure you, it's you. <laughs> that, that was passing on the ballot. Uh, Rolly, come on over here. Joe, what do you do over here? I'm Raleigh's husband, and I do marketing for Raleigh Shine Studio. 
And I came up with this idea a couple of years ago. This is the second time we've done this. And it is fascinating <laughs> what you choose and how people get engaged with the work. And we're delighted to have done this and we're delighted that you stayed to the end to see the results. I'm, I'll announce Raleigh's first, and then I'll announce Joe's, and then each of them will go to their <laughs> Hey, look what he did. So um, I'll announce Raleigh. So you chose number three for Raleigh, Cafe Philippe, one, which is right here. Wow. All right. That's, that's number three. Coming in second place is on the back wall, uh, on the right of the yellow building, and that's called Clope Goss Interior Number One. Yay! I love that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So the winning painting is called Oaxaca Interior with Fresco and Doorway. That's number 18. That's the winning painting. Very good. Wow. Very good. Thank you. So what, what interested me about this painting was the stillness and the quietness of the environment. And um, I wanted us to go there and really take some time to look around in this environment and feel what was going on and also feel the sense that you were kind of going to have to make a decision. Did you want to leave this room this way or this way? This is sunlit <coughs> and this is in shadow. So there's kind of a, you know, a metaphoric piece to that. And then the other part that really interested me was that at one time there was an artist who spent a lot of time on a fresco. And this is a crumbling fresco. It kind of tells its own story. And you know, it's very hard to paint something that's falling apart. <laughs> because I could see that there was a mountain and there were some kind of animals climbing up there and so forth, but I, I couldn't, I didn't want to make them too finished because actually they were crumbling off the wall. And this is all crumbling. And one of the things you'll see in my painting is that I like to have things that have seen age because I think that if walls could talk, there are stories that they've seen. What are those stories? And so it's another metaphor for our own stories over time. It's history. So it's history, right. And so it's a, a different history and it's done in light and shadow and color. And maybe you can hear it. If you spend some time with it, you can, you can hear the environment too. So that's it. I'm glad you liked it. So now on to Joe's best of show and um, taking third place is number seven and it's the olive bowl olive drab dye on spalted ash yep, so all the way in the back okay it's so all yep. the way in the back all right hold Yay. it up hold it up <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> All right, that's number three. Oh, no, I wish I had a drum roll. Number two uh, is the table. Marvelous, isn't it? Okay, give me a drum roll. What number one is? Seventeen. This one. Seventeen. No, the sphere. It's the sphere. Now, Joe, your job is to speak about that piece of art. 
So go, well, over, um, go over to your art. It used to be a tree. We need a direction. You need to stand next to your piece. <laughs> I'm a tree artist. <laughs> um, I tell a lot of my artist friends that if you take a blank piece of canvas and you make a nice piece of art out of it, you got to be really good. If you take a piece of wood that people like to start with and don't mess it up too bad, <laughs> they like it. A friend of ours that had this monstrous big tree, it had to be at least five or six feet in diameter, it came down and she expected me to pick it up and carry it away. I declined. Um, <laughs> but then she, she had uh, a boyfriend, I guess it was, <laughs> that picked up part of it and brought it, dumped it off, and said, well, now can you do something with it? And it sat around for about a year, and I finally uh, did something with it. Um, you can tell them how you wood turn. A lot of people don't know. Oh, yeah, well, well, it's wood turning. Yeah, uh, what okay, is wood you, you have uh, this machine that's uh, a lathe that, uh, that, that you could mount things on, and it turns it in, say, that direction. Then you stand there with a, a, there's a bar that's solid and chisels, and you just take off everything you don't want. And it's a little dicey with something this size and hard to hold it and all that, which is why it costs so much. <laughs> well, I mean, it was it was a it was a tree. I mean, this this, this was natural though. This okay, was cave, th right? th this how yeah, this was all was natural. What happens with particularly oak trees and other trees is if you have a limb that breaks off, that limb dies and it rots. But the tree tries to grow around it to sort of encapsulate it, much like if you cut yourself, it's going to try to grow back and, and encapsulate the wound. Trees do the same thing. And so you have here a branch that rotted out, and the tree as it grew around it to, to encapsulate that wound, if you would call it that. So, um, so this is all natural. This was a stump that was probably about this long, about that big around, hollow, but all completely enclosed. And when you open it up, you get the, the blackness with the... Uh, there was bark on the outside of this. Okay. This is the sapwood of the tree, which is... is uh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, softer and more prone to rotting, and this these this is partially rotted. I mean, it's already softened a little bit. And this is the heartwood, the stuff that that did that. Um, the healthy and older. Healthy. Yeah. And this tree had to be 200, almost 150 years old, at least 150 years. So what? Um, I had the pleasure of building Joe's website, and we did some videos several years ago. Because his video on his website uh, and his web address is on your catalog um, that tells the story step by step of how he takes a big piece of wood and creates a piece of art. Mm -hmm. So it's I think it's I think it's remarkable. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. <laughs> and the good news is it's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too. I'm sorry I didn't vote for it. I love woodwork. Yeah, so do I.